Ondo 2020, new game plans for APC, PDP, and others. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again for your support. Yes, my people were back um, with more update, latest and most authentic happenings in the country. You know, um, after the just concluded election in Edo State, it's been stated that uh, uh, um, elections will take a new turn in the country. Ondo State is next and Nigerians are watching how it is going to play out, if it's going to play out just the same way it went down in Edo State. Anyways, guys, it's been stated that it's a new game plan for APC. PDP and other political parties as well. We'll bring you more details shortly, guys. But before we do, please, um, if you haven't given us a thumbs up, please do give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you once again. Yes, we'll go down into the news now and grab all of the details. Following the conclusion of the governorship election in Edo State and the emergence of Governor Gordon Obaseki of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, as the winner Political parties and their gubernatorial candidates have redirected their efforts towards the governorship election taking place in Ondo State next month. Consequently, political activities are expected to further heat up in the coming days and weeks across the nooks and crannies of the Sunshine State. Not a few pundits are of the opinion that many of the parties, especially in the ruling All Progressive Congress APC, and the opposition PDP will seriously consider the processes and outcomes of the Edo Gobanitera contest as they continue with their electioneering campaigns ahead of the October election. The two parties will have to return to the drawing board and see how lessons from Edo election would help them next month, a source said. According to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, a total of 17 of the 18 registered political parties are participating in the Ondo governorship election fixed for 10th October 2020. Only the Boot Party is not taking part in the election as it neither gave the commission any notification of its intention to conduct primaries for the Ondo governorship election, nor submitted names of the candidate to INEC before the closure of nomination of gubernatorial candidates. The list of the parties and candidates on the INEC website has Governor Oluwa Rotimi Akeredolu as the candidate of the APC, the State Deputy Governor Agbola Ajayi as the candidate of Zenet Labour Party ZLP, with Eita Yojegede as the PDP candidate. And in spite of the pressure of 14 other political parties in the race, most pundits and observers insist the gubernatorial election is a three-horse race among the three aforementioned candidates and parties. While Akere Dolo of the APC is the incumbent governor and is expected to benefit immensely from the incumbency factor as well as the popularity of his political party in the state, his supporters are insisting that his performance in the last four years would garner the votes for his outcome October 10th. The Ologbo of Ugbo, Oba Frederick Obatare Akinruta, who is also the chairman of Yoruba Oba's Conflict Resolution Committee, once said Akere Dolo deserved the support because of his achievement. He is setting a good foundation for a solid economic development of the state by providing a good environment for private businesses to thrive. I was happy that this party, APC, has endorsed him for the second term, and I have no reservations to support him because he is doing his best to provide good governance in all those states, and particularly the welfare of the workers. I also plead with all sundry to join hands with him in the quest to develop the state, the monarch said. But supporters of the PDP candidate disagree with claims that the governor has done well. It is for this reason they want Jagede to be given the opportunity to come in as governor in October 10th. PDP State Publicity Secretary Kennedy Ikantu Peretia accused Akere Dolo of arrogance, corruption, clannishness, selfishness, blackmail, poor performance, infrastructural decay, and abandonment of projects in the immediate past PDP administration. The people are prepared to vote and also resist rigging. The choice before the people now is between prosperity and poverty. It is between educated children and school drops out. It is between darkness and light. For those who witnessed the giant strides of the previous PDP government in our state, 
Akeredolo's scorecard has been giving victory to Eitayo Jegede San and our party, the PDP, in October gubernatorial election, Peretier boasted. For those who still see Ajayi and his party, the ZLP, as serious contenders in the race, the popularity of both the gubernatorial candidate and the leadership of the party, former Governor Ulushegu Mimiko, across the state, as well as an expected close race between APC and PDP, remain the major reason. ZLDP supporters vowed the party will win massively in Ondo South and Ondo Central, where Ajayi and Mimiko hail from, respectively, come October 10th. The Director General of the Ogbo Boye Campaign Organization, Kola Adu Jimmy, said Ajayi is the popular choice of the people. The ZLP is the party to beat on October 10th. That is why Akere Dolo's thugs are threatening the lives and properties of members of ZLP and those of the other parties in various parts of the state. They inflicted injuries on our supporters in Ile Luji. They also destroyed Ajayi's billboard in Akure and posters in Idanre. While reiterating his readiness to unseat Akere Dolo during the week, Jagede boasted that the people of Ondo State were ready to repeat what transpired in Edo by rejecting the APC-led administration in the Sunshine State. He said that the PDP is a political party that institutionalizes inclusive democracy, which gives equal opportunities to party members as against the dominance of a cabal of political godfathers. Like Jagede, some pundits are of the opinion that euphoria of PDP's victory in Edo State if properly harnessed by the party, can go a long way in tilting the balance in Jagede's favor. Akin Alabi, lawyer and pro-democracy activist, argued that we cannot rule out the place of bandwagon effect in politics, especially in developing democracy like ours, where majority of the people will allow others to decide how they vote for them. If the PDP, especially at the national level, moves in and build enough campaign themes around the development, the possibility that the people of Ondo will move to repeat the Edo feature is very high. Don't forget the proximity between Edo and Ondo as neighboring states. But if this happens, it will take a lot of work and the PDP must redesign its entire campaign architecture, refocusing it to sell their propaganda. And it appears Jagede and his party may be thinking in that direction already. Also speaking on the October 10 pool, Oyo State Governor Shei Makinde said the PDP is ready to do all that is lawful to secure victory in the forthcoming governorship election in the Sunshine State. He said that the party will put everything in place to take over Ondo State from the leadership of APC. With the level of work being done by the party, victory is assured. We are set to take over Ondo from APC, he said. Wow, that's interesting. Guys, we know um, on the state governorship election is going to be quite different from Edo. Edo state was basically between two parties, APC and PDP. But right now it's been stated that it's a three-horse race, APC, PDP, and ZLP. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. Do drop us your take. We really appreciate Thank you once again for coming out here. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. And please share our news and do share our news. We really appreciate it. Till I come your way again, bye for now and God bless.